Hello everyone, I'm Jeffrey Tan, the creator of Open Business. Welcome to the first weekend of the Singapore Heritage Festival. Held over three weekends, this festival, uh, you, the audience, can look forward to lots of fun and interactive activities online. That's right, this year's festival is a virtual festival. Uh, there will be three weekends, so the focus this weekend is on Tanjung Paga, and this is where I am now, at T-Chapter at Tanjung Paga. Next weekend's focus is on Pasiris, and the final weekend is on Kalang. Today, what you're about to see is the second of this program called Open Business. This is a program where the hosts will share their stories of what it means to be a Singapore brand. And if you've missed our first episode yesterday, you can still get online to the heritage.sg uh, uh, Facebook and watch that. Uh, I've got two guests with me, and they are Mr. Tay Wei Hua and Mr. Fan Li from T Chapter to share their stories. And please don't go away because after the film, you can also interact with us and ask questions or share your reflections. And how do you do that? You can just add on to the Facebook comment. That's right, only on the Heritage, Singapore Heritage Festival's Facebook comments. And you can ask us questions. So if you're ready, enjoy the show. Hi, welcome to Open Business at T Chapter. My name is Jeffrey, the co-creator of this program. We're proud to be part of the Singapore Heritage Festival organized by the National Heritage Board. Come, join me. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Pei Wei Hua. I'm the Assistant Digital Marketing Manager at T Chapters. Welcome to T Chapters. To friends who have supported us over the year, thank you for your support. To people who are new to T Chapter, welcome. Today, Fan and I will share a little bit of our journey at Key Chapters. Key Chapters opens its door on the 1st of October 1989. We have been in operation for the past 31 years. We are proud to say that we are one of the largest and oldest tea houses in Singapore. The retail shop that you see now isn't what it used to be like three years ago. Please follow me. This is a compressed tea or cha ping. For our 28th anniversary, we especially invited an artist to do the retail shop activities. Behind this wooden display shelf, it used to be an art way where a customer can actually walk in from shop number unit 11 to shop unit number 9. So, how did I start in this tea business? In 1994, I visited my first tea house called Cha Xiang. It's on the second story of the shop houses at Sego Lake. When I first stepped inside, the feeling was indestructible. It was a combination of deep appreciation of Chinese culture with tea. And not knowing what to do after my national service, I chanced upon a recruitment app by Tea Chapters. And the fond memory of the tea house came back into my mind, so I decided to give it a try. Despite the high turnover in the f and line, I have been on and off with Tea Chapter for the past 20 over years. And I even remember I celebrated my 21st birthday at Tea Chapters. When I'm in between jobs, I always come back to Tea Chapter to work temporarily as it's a heaven for me. Okay, enough about me. Let's move on to the most ice catching item in the retail shop. This giant teapot is actually a functional teapot which we can use to make tea. However, it requires at least 8 strong men to move the teapot around. Despite the changes over the year in the retail shop, the giant teapot is, the only, is one of the few things which follow us through the years. Let's move on to the second floor of the tea house. Welcome to the second level. I'm finally the executive director of Tea Chapter. Let me show you different types of sittings that we have over here. So uh, over here, we have the Korean style sitting and follow me, I shall show you the Chinese one.
Okay, so over here we have the Chinese style sittings with the tables and chairs. As for this building that we are currently at, is uh, unit number 9, it's the first conserved building in the Tanjong Paga district. Uh, it is special because of its rich architectural design and histories. And this serves as a very special synergy for tea chapter that we have resided here for 31 years because of the cultural and traditional side of things. So uh, for this building itself, uh, it was named as the designated um, unit for a special visit when Queen Elizabeth II came over in 1989. So she sat exactly at this table and this is a picture of her drinking tea 31 years ago. So over here, uh, this is uh, Imperial Golden Cassia. This is the tea that we serve Queen Elizabeth II. It's a light fermented oolong tea with an uh, osmentous aroma. Okay, so now I shall pass it to my colleague to tell you something that actually pairs well with tea. Hi. I still remember the first task that was, I was assigned to do when I was, was start working at the tea house was to assist in the preparation of the tea eggs. Let me share with you how we prepare the tea egg. First of all, we have to take the egg from the tea tray and then wash it individually under the running water. After that, we'll put the egg back into the pot and then hard boil it. Once the egg becomes hard boiled, we'll take out the egg again and then use a porcelain spoon to crack the shell of the egg individually. After which, we'll put the egg back into the pot and then after that, we'll put in stuff like oolong tea, soya sauce and Chinese spices to cook for a minimum of 8 hours before it's being served. Eating the tea egg looks easy, but actually a lot of hard work actually went into the preparation of the tea egg to make it delicious and nice. Let's move to the third floor of the tea house. Welcome to the third level of tea chapter. This is the Japanese style sitting. So now let me brew some tea for you. Okay, so uh, this is the traditional way to brew tea. So first of all, we have to pour the hot water into the empty teapot. So this is to warm the tea sets. So now I'll pour it into the justice cup and later on to the rest of the cups. Okay, so now I'll finally pour in the tea leaves. pour in hot water. So for this first pot, you don't actually drink it. It's actually used to wash the tea leaves and to awaken the tea leaves. So in Mandarin, we call it the Sing Cha. Okay, so now uh, this is the first actual brew. So it will be around 30 seconds. Okay, so while we wait, uh, let me reintroduce myself again. My name is Fun, spelled as F-U-N-D, so it means money. So uh, I don't know why I gotten this name and uh, why my parents gave it to me. I guess they just really wanted me to earn money. Lah. Yeah, so uh, with this a uh, bit about myself. So when I was younger, I used to sell things like uh, Dragon Ball cards and even pirated CDs. Yeah, so this buying and selling spirit probably helped me propagate a passion for business itself. Yeah, um, so that is a bit about me. So for how Tea Chapter started was uh, 31 years ago, um, my parents and their SIM classmates really wanted to start a business, but they didn't really know what to do. 
But uh, being traditional Chinese, so tea became one of the top choices that they can make. So I guess that's how we got here today. So um, as for myself, when I joined, it was around eight or nine years ago when I joined, I had no experience. Um, I didn't know anything about tea chapter. It was really hard for me to start. And I was an information engineering graduate, so it makes it even worse. So it was a very difficult journey. So some of the problems that I faced then, uh, I still do face now. One of the most difficult problems, I would say, would, uh, would deal with the human resources part of things. So how to actually communicate with them well and plan things well with them, so or keep them aligned with the whole organization and understanding the missions and visions uh, and all these things to get them working together. So uh, amidst these challenges, I do want to bring in some new ideas to the plate. So some of the things that I like to do is actually to play Wei Qi. So as you can see here, there's a Wei Qi board. So I used to play a bit, as, uh, even in Japan. So I'm trying to fuse playing Wei Qi and the appreciation of tea itself together. So with this, I have contacted uh, Singapore Wei Qi Association and we have worked together um, for a period of time. So that's one. The second thing we're trying to do is actually uh, e-commerce. So bringing the convenience to our consumers as well as um, gaining greater exposure through the internet. However, with all these ideas, uh, it's simply not enough in the Singapore environment. It's pretty hard as uh, drinking tea is not trendy and hip, uh, unlike the rest of the things in the precinct, which is like uh, cafes, Japanese, Korean restaurants, where you can see tons of people flooding to. So that is one. Another thing that we face is actually the max, uh, sorry, the construction of Maxwell MRT station. So that is um, been there for five years. So they actually demolished a very big uh, car park there and resulting in the loss of parking space and a lot more inconvenience for our customers to visit our current place itself. So yeah, that is some of the problems. Okay, so with regards to the current uh, situation of T chapter, actually we are trying our best to invoke um, and advocate more for tea culture and tea appreciation. So amongst the youth, and we are really trying to stand in the front line to try to do this. So some of the things we do includes conducting classes for primary school students, uh, secondary school students, and we try to align them with all the different festival celebrations there are. So please do come back and try our tea uh, uh, appreciation as well as our tea eggs. We hope that you'll come back to enjoy the ambience along or with your friends. T chapter always welcomes you. Thank you for staying with us. We hope you've enjoyed listening to their sharing. And this is the moment where you can ask questions to Mr. Fan and Mr. Tay. So beside me is Mr. Fan and Mr. Tay. Uh, while we're waiting for our friends to ask their questions or to share their reflections, maybe let me have a quick chat with them. Let's start with Mr. Fan. How was your experience uh, creating this open business? Um, <coughs> this experience was a special one. I have not really been in front of a camera and I still have a bit of jitters till now. <laughs> okay, don't worry, you're, you're doing very, very well. Thank you. Uh, Mr. T, how was it for you? Okay, uh, this is my first live show, so it's really a very eye experience for me. Uh -huh. And I really know that it's not easy to remember all the lines that we have said just now. <laughs> But the lines all came from you guys, yeah? We, we spent about five rehearsals, yeah? yeah. Over the last four or five months. Uh, while we're waiting for the questions, maybe I can ask a little bit about Tea Chapter, yeah? Uh, maybe I'll ask Mr. Tay this time. Mr. Tay, how, what are the different types of tea you have here at Tea Chapter? Uh, basically, we have about five types of tea. 
the green tea, white tea, oolong tea, red tea, black tea, and flora tea. Okay, great. And other than tea, uh, what else can they, you know, can you do? Do you just drink tea and eat tea eggs? Let's find out from Mr. Fun. Uh, what else do you all have on your menu? Okay, so some of the things that we have on our menu include some tea jellies, which we created from poo uh, or even like lychee tea. Oh, yeah. So, quite so um, there's also some uh, assortments of tea cookies, okay. so where you can pair well with the tea itself. I mm. see. And and the, there's a question from one of our friends. Mm. You know, why is tea chapter called tea chapter? <laughs> so someone must ask the boss. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, okay. So tea chapter wasn't started by me, but um, why the name chapter came about is because they wanted to do a lot of different chapters. Ah, so yeah, so this is chapter one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So on that note of tea, there's another question. How many blends of tea does tea chapter serve? I think we've sort of answered that question right just now. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, we've answered that question. So if you have any other questions, this is the time. Uh, you can also encourage your friends to tune in. It's uh, heritage, Singapore uh, Heritage dot SG. Yeah. Okay. While we are still waiting, Heritage Festival. Sorry, Heritage Festival dot SG. Yeah. Uh, any other questions? Uh, anything you'd like to share with our friends? Okay, maybe the question of, you know, it's been quite a few tough few months, right? Mm. Uh, how, what's your recovery uh, <laughs> strategy? Uh, Any recovery strategies that you guys are thinking about? Yeah, maybe from me? Yeah, yeah, from yeah. you. Uh, I guess we need to increase our exposure and try uh -huh. to appeal more to the masses okay. so for them to come over. Nice. And, and the idea of appealing to the masses, I think mm. the next question from Luke is probably good for Mr. Tay, yeah. Yeah? Mm. which is, what kinds of tea are suitable for cold brew? Because they see this boiling, not all tea are hot, right? Okay. Basically, I will recommend our jasmine pearl, okay. which is a mixture of jasmine flower with green tea. Mm. So what you can do is, after you make the tea, you can actually put it in the fridge and cold it overnight or okay. for a few hours before serving it. Okay. So I guess I have a cheeky question for fun. Eh? Mm. Uh, so what about, you know, bubble tea? Is that considered tea in <laughs> tea chapters? <laughs> Definition of tea? Cheeky question, uh, cheeky question. Okay. Uh, so for myself, uh. um, it's definitely a type of tea. But for us, I think we are more of the cultural and heritage side of things. Uh. Okay. Uh, so your tea have no... Uh, no, <laughs> no sugar, no milk. Okay. Yeah, no, no pearls. Okay. <laughs> okay. So uh, any, any funny memories of what... Because both of you have been here for a long time, right? Any funny stories or, you know, movable... Yeah. Mm, actually, one of my memories of tea chapter is whenever we have children here, school yeah. students, be it those from uh, kindergarten all the way to JC. So, I mean, wherever they are here, we feel that we are actually imparting Chinese culture okay. and even the, of, tea, of tea making to them. Okay. And we are glad that they always learn something and bring it back with them. And this may be one of their memory of a tea house in Singapore. Okay. So, in the general public, right, if I have uh, some overseas guests, and I want them to experience. Do you all do that kind of a special tea appreciation uh, sessions? Okay, uh, basically we have two types of tea appreciation package. One is where we actually, uh, you just have to book the package and we have a tea master to sit down with you. Wow. And you can try three types of tea. Okay. And after uh, having the tea talk and then the hands-on of making the tea, you can actually have our tea egg and tea cookie. Uh -huh. The other package, you can try even more type of tea, which is about six type of tea. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, some people drink tea to relax, right? Mm. But you guys are in the tea business. So, what do you, what do, you do to relax, Mr. Fat? Um, for myself. Uh. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I do play some basketball and stuff. Uh. Okay, so you're quite an active person. Uh, yeah. I hope so. Okay. <laughs> then, uh, Mr. T, what do you do to relax? Uh... For me, I actually like to be in this tea house when it's not open for business yet. 
uh -huh. the whole place is very <laughs> quiet and serene okay. and it's actually helped me to relax oh, before okay. I start the day work okay or even after the end of the day yeah when the tea house is closed okay you know there, there might be friends who are watching and still not convinced about tea drinking <laughs> yeah so you know can, can you uh, share you know some benefits of uh, slow brew you know tea drinking maybe we start with mr fan first yeah, yeah so for me tea drinking is a bit like mindfulness so yes. the whole process of brewing it is actually like communicating with yourself okay yeah so it takes the time to slow you especially in singapore when everything is very fast yeah yeah so for me that is the special part of okay. tea brew. and must you drink tea with someone romantic or <laughs> can be by yourself can you come to tea chapter by yourself um yeah definitely definitely okay yeah okay so maybe we ask uh mr tay right mm. there's there's a question about japanese tea ceremony and you know what are the similarities and differences okay for japanese tea ceremony they are very uh emphasized on the time taken and actually the steps okay in doing the tea are there more steps in the japanese yes in the japanese there's more steps and every step they will actually follow through yeah. While in Chinese tea ceremony, it's a very free for all. Okay. So you can actually do your own style. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's no right and wrong in Chinese tea mm. making. Yeah. Mm. So with all this tea, right, and you have five, six different types. Uh, Mr. Fan, do you know like where, where do the tea come from? Is it all from one place or? Uh, generically, we import them from China and Taiwan. Okay. So all the famous places there. La. So okay. the Fujian side, uh, the... Wuyi Shan, yeah, Wuyi Mountains, and Taiwan, of course, from their mountains as well, the uh, Tain Zhong area. Okay, and, and maybe we ask Mr. Tay, right? Can people order the tea online through you guys? Yes, you can actually order tea online through us, through our website, and we will de try to deliver them within three working days. Okay, and for friends who want to have an unusual birthday party, do you, do you all do that kind of thing, Mr. Fan? You, I see you laughing. Uh, we can accommodate, but of course, uh, we are still a tea house. La, so okay. we want to advocate the serenity and what. So um, if the birthday party is not too rowdy, then uh, sure, why not? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and are there, I, I see downstairs there were some games. Yeah. There yeah. are some games for people. So they can play Chinese chess, mm. Wei Qi. Uh, five stones, is it, or what? <laughs> More traditional types of games. Okay. Uh, we also allow if people bring some of their games here, but okay. yeah, at the end of the day, uh, the rowdiness is <laughs> the consideration factor. Okay, so, so they must do uh, culture, civilized things like Chinese calligraphy, <laughs> is it? <laughs> Not, not exactly, because okay. like tea drinking, like Wei Hua said just now, is more of a casual type yeah. in terms of um, Chinese style. So, yeah. but nonetheless, uh, you know, this serenity is something that we should try to preserve as much as possible. Okay. And, and uh, another curious question, you know, are there like uh, non-Chinese who come and visit? Yes. Actually, uh, besides uh, locals, we have those uh, tourists. Yeah from all over the world, mm. be it Japanese or be it uh, from America mm. or from Africa. So whenever they look at their guidebook, they saw yeah. us, they would, and if, if they really like tea, they will come to the tea house mm. to experience what it's like having tea in a Singapore environment. Mm -hmm. So do you, I'm sure you work with a lot of like tour agencies and kind of uh, listings, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So, so, uh, anything else you'd like to share with our friends who are watching about Tea Chapter? Um, okay, for tea itself, I think in Singapore, right, um, because everybody drink it in the restaurants, so yeah. they felt it like it's a very casual thing and just, um, how to say, it's just very normal. But mm -hmm. in a sense, uh, I hope that everyone that's watching right now, give it a chance, come down and experience how to brew tea the proper way yeah 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 and and at, at tea chapter there are different types of sitting as we saw earlier so you know you don't just have to sit on the floor if you're not comfortable <laughs> or new like what mr fun is doing yeah you can opt for the chinese seats right where mm -hmm. you can sit on the proper chair or the korean seats where you can uh, dangle your feet 
slightly lower, right? Mm. The kind of uh, sitting. So not to worry. Not everyone needs to sit cross-legged like us. <laughs> uh, any other things? Our friends, any, anybody else would like to ask questions? If not, we will wrap up. So thank you, Mr. Fan, and thank, thank you, you Mr. Jeffrey. Tay. Thank you, Jeffrey. And thank you, friends, for tuning in to Open Business at T Chapter. Uh, to uncover more stories about Singapore's history and heritage, please visit theheritagefestival.sg. So join us at the festival. It still runs for three weekends. Yeah, this weekend, next weekend, and the following weekend till early July. See you.